분명히 입은 채 있어. <웃음> 매운탕을 해 먹을까? 아니, 튀김부터 다해 먹어야지. 어? 오, 왜 괴물이지? 이 괴물도 고추가 달렸는지 한번 볼까? 오, 없네. 어, 어, 예, 위험한데 믿지 않고. 너. 내가 잡은 고기를 빼앗아가려고 그러는 거지, 이 괴물아! 어머, 얘 봐. 이상하게 생긴 꼬마가. 이 괴물아, 덤벼라! 내가 상대해주마! 지훈 녀석이. 어디 혼자 있나 봐라. 이스토너 슬리퍼스 are for moms and girls with unique four-way stretch that even gives little feet the feeling of a hug. That's Isotoner Comfort. Isotoner Comfort slippers for moms and girls. Having the flu is a nightmare. Your throat's so sore. You're congested. You cough. Body aches all over. But now, there's Theraflu, the first and only hot medicine made just for flu symptoms. Theraflu, with a hot liquid like doctors recommend. Strong therapy for fever and cough. Strong therapy for aches and pains. Next time the flu strikes you, strike back with Theraflu. Tuesday's terrific for the family that plays together. Could anything be nerdier than this? On Who's the Boss, then... Face it, they were proud of me. I guess it was kind of by default. The Wonder Years, and it's like a first date. You believe in love at first sight? No, but I'm only 20. On Roseanne, then it's Coach. I'm Honey. Hi, Honey. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Join the all-star lineup. First on Who's the Boss and The Wonder Years. Then it's Roseanne and Coach. The Tuesday team is terrific. You know what I like best about tap dancing? It's not ballet. And I can practice on the linoleum. After Mom picks me up from tap lessons, I keep her company while she makes dinner. Tap dancing makes you very hungry, especially for burgers and Oreo tater tots. Life would be perfect if I could eat tater tots every day and the whole world was covered with linoleum. special holiday messages to choose from. Hallmark has just the right cards to capture what you want to say this Christmas. Hallmark has a way to make your holiday. No matter who you are. Hallmark has a way. A game is a model of life. Games reflect the politics, the wars, the economic systems of the societies that create them. Go is a game of strategy. Success requires skill, patience, and above all, foresight. There is a moment when an opponent's pieces are about to be surrounded. Another move will decide the battle. The winning player delivers a polite warning. Atari. This is Atari from the inside. Inside the game. Inside the strategy.
inside the company. At the dawn of a new age, Atari has created a new world of games. Games that move at the speed of light. As vast and unexpected as the human imagination. Atari is the kind of company that comes into being only once or twice in each generation. A company that creates new industries. A company that expands our horizons. From the very beginning of the computer age, a few programmers and engineers have used their machines to play new kinds of games. Games that offer new challenges. But the machines were complex and expensive. In the early 1970s, the picture changed. Now a galaxy of motion and logic could be packed into an affordable dime-sized chip. Atari has put this device into the hands of millions of people for fun. intended for my son, Kyle Catan. Kyle, I have left two very important items for you. The first is a map to the Valley of the Jedi and is embedded in the stone ceiling above this room. The last is a lightsaber that once belonged to a friend and great Jedi, Ran. Use it well. Use it for good. Freezer's evil was destroyed forever. How could a Saiyan generate enough power to destroy Frieza? Now, the cooler hugging the universe for the Saiyan responsible for his brother's death has come to planet Earth. No one disgraces our family. Live to tell about it. Show them what you've got, Goku. Let's go! Cooler's Revenge. Friday, September 19th at 6. What is it? An eclipse? Not this time of year. Namek is under siege. Cooler's army of super robots has enslaved the planet. Goku, save them. As a countermeasure, Dende has enlisted the help of some powerful friends. The Return of Cooler premieres Friday, September 26th at 6. Hey, hey, the gang's all here. Why won't you die? Only to mommy. to dominate robotic warfare, the secret organization Black Ghost has transformed these nine humans into cybernetic soldiers. The problem is nobody asked them. You were kidnapped off the street so you could remodel us. There's no escape. Surrender to your fate. 
Cyborg 009, starting Monday, June 30th at 6. How did I do all this? Big Nephilim. Ain't all that. the perfect vessel for his brilliant mind. You're crazy if you think I'm gonna let you get your hands on my brain! Your body belongs to me! He needs the world's strongest fighter. Goku's gonna give it to him. I know he's still alive. Even after all of that? Go and attack the intruder! Tsunami presents a special one-hour Dragon Ball Z movie, The World's Strongest, next, only Tsunami. From the deepest reaches of space, some darkness approaching, the ultimate enemy has arrived. I have a bad feeling about all this. Their single purpose, destroy our world. Let's plant this thing. From the seeds of destruction, a new threat has arisen. A tree with the power to enslave a planet. A tree of might will leave Earth withered up and dry. Seven heroes are all that stand in its way. I won't let the Earth be destroyed. Power up! Bring it on! Battle for Earth begins. Come on. Tree of Might. Friday, December 15th at 5. Only Tsunami. Because so many children are at risk, and to demonstrate the disturbing reality of what goes on in some chat rooms, we enlisted the help of volunteers from a vigilante organization called Perverted Justice. Volunteers of this controversial group are experts at pretending to be children online in order to catch and expose potential predators. And in most states, soliciting a minor for sex is still a crime, even if it turns out the minor is really an adult posing as a child. We had to stop the bank first. While some in law enforcement strongly oppose any civilian group conducting sting operations, perverted justice volunteers say they are often able to provide authorities, from local police to the FBI, evidence to build cases and get convictions. At the point, this point in taping, we had 30 convictions. 30 convictions? 30. We've had, I believe now, 22 since the first of this year. So we're averaging well over to a month. So how do perverted justice operatives find potential sexual predators? First, they go into chat rooms, usually through AOL or Yahoo, and set up a profile of a 12, 13, or 14-year-old. A profile that often includes a photo of a child obviously underage, like this one provided by the girl's mother. Then the decoys wait to be contacted by an adult. In order to avoid the appearance of entrapment, they never make the first contact. But once a chat begins, the undercover operatives make it known they're open to the possibility of sex. A few decoys even seem eager. How quickly do these conversations turn sexual? Sometimes uh, very quickly. As soon as the conversation is, hi, my name is, I'm 14 years old or 13 years old, and the gentleman will then say, look at this and send you a picture or say something else. And that's, that would be the crime right there. While just setting up a liaison online for sex with a minor is illegal, a face-to-face -face meeting obviously poses a much greater danger. We wanted to know if most predators were all talk or if they would really attempt to meet a child in person. Thank you for coming all this way. We're set up in this upscale home in a suburb of Washington, D.C. 
We're ready and waiting for the knock on the door. This lovely home in Virginia, just outside of Washington, D.C., has become the secret meeting place for potential Internet sex predators. It's rigged with nine hidden cameras, three with views outside, one pointed at the garage, and five inside the house. Several volunteers from Perverted Justice, the group dedicated to catching Internet predators, are in chat rooms posing as 12, 13, and 14-year-olds ready to make a date for sex with men they meet online. 39-year-old Frag, his screen name, who has been a perverted justice volunteer for more than two years, is posing as a 13-year-old girl in a Yahoo chat room set up for Virginia residents. It's a chat room not intended for romantic or sexual conversations. There's a girl named Kim. As Dateline cameras roll, the undercover operatives enter chat rooms. They're quickly inundated with adults wanting to talk. Here's a 46-year-old who calls himself the Sphinx 59. He thinks he's talking to a 12-year-old girl named Sarah. It takes him only four minutes of chatting online to okay. ask her, are you a virgin? She says Always. she is. Always forgetting to clear my throat before I start. So, I remember there was a Dragon Ball Z movie that basically was the bridge between Dragon Ball and Z. Like, Goku still had his Nimbus and his Power Pole. And it was like the first appearance of like teen, late teens Krillin. I don't know. I can't remember which one that was. But I had the old Goku voice actor. And I was into that. What's up, Titan? Hey, J-Man. What's up, everybody? Um, I'm back at it. So let's see here. Took out Blast Man. I feel like you blow up rocks. That seems right. I'm continuing my journey through Mega Man 11. Really enjoying it the whole way. My gosh, this game is otter. Sorry. What's up, man? Who is the dude that's super high and just got a pizza? Because that guy's living right. Otter, I think it was you. What's up, Astral? Yeah, Jerry, this game is is charming as shit. There's a rainbow in the background there. There's a stupid little, stupid little guy with a velocipede. Oh, candles. Oh, wait. Just got Super High and went to watch Venom. That seems appropriate. Crusade, thanks for the reset, man. Oh, was it Mkar? Apparently it's a lot of people. Very fun movie to watch. I've heard that. I've heard that, like, if you can not take it seriously, it's fine. Like, it's, it's just dumb, and it's fun, and if you just turn off the need to, like, have characters have motivations that make sense, or like, have like a deep and meaningful payoff. Which I am totally okay with uh, turning off, you know? Also, I feel like, man, I don't think, Venom was never that character anyway. <clears throat> I could be wrong, but it's not like they tried to make, actually, I shouldn't speak out of my depth. I, I don't, I don't know what they did, I don't know, like, Lethal Protect or anything like that, but... Um, I feel like Venom was was never the character where they tried to ask hard questions about concepts of justice and shit and protagonist. It was like he's he's rad and it's the '90s and Todd McFarlane is at the top of his game. So here you go, more Venom. It's fun not being a critic, right, Lando? Do you have to have deep thoughts about everything? Not you specifically, but just people in general. I feel like I feel like it's a a uh, mistake to confuse having an opinion with being intelligent. And I think a lot of people conflate the two. If I have a biting thought, it proves that I am capable of critical thought. You can just like something. You don't have to... Although I get there's there's actually another aspect to it. Saying I liked it isn't very interesting, you know, if you're like chatting with friends. Ryan, I'm okay. I had a very active day today, I'll say that. Which is a good thing. In kind of a lot of ways, got a lot of work done, did a lot of cool shit. Went to worked out twice. Cause I'm fucking I'm I'm on fire now. Basically, uh Oh god, wait a minute. There are hieroglyphics and inscriptions of all these fucking robots in the background. 
Did I just enter a whole robot society and I'm about to kill its god? Because that's kind of what it seems like to me. Character motivations are straightforward. Guy down on his luck meshed with a creepy monster that likes to eat people and is goofy, goofy, go, is a goofy fuck to boot. Yeah, I've so I've heard that. Um, I like that interpretation. I, I haven't seen the movie. I've read some reviews that are like, well, why, why would, why would the symbiote bind to Eddie Brock? Because there's no nothing that makes them compatible. And why would Eddie Brock accept the symbiote? Because they don't ever establish why he needs to do that. I'm just like. Man. I didn't know that these questions needed to answering in a movie about Venom. But that's just, I don't know. Whoa, it's cool. I did it. But I think it's, it's fine to want that kind of thing. I can tell you why, because it's really straightforward and not complicated, but people cry because spoilers. Well, oh, hey, I'll thank you for not telling me. I'd, I'd rather, I'm going to see it. Of course I'm going to see it. I, I think the thing that annoys me more about Venom is their desire to turn the, like, fucking Spider-Man villains into their own universe. I guess Mobius isn't specifically Spider-Man, but that's all I know him from. Actually, I, I only know his ass from the fucking Maximum Carnage video game, so I'm no academic here. Damn it. But I dig it. If the movie's fun, I don't need a whole lot of... Shit! Oh! I did not expect a little platform to pop out of his head. Hmm. Is the movie in the MCU? No. It is in the Venom CU. Like, they're starting their own thing. Again. Which is, I'm sure, a great idea. Hello, John. I'm feeling pretty well today. Thank you for the, uh, the well wishes. Tried playing the demo for this gearless, gearless and I just couldn't. There are definitely sections designed around speed gear. I don't know if you can play gearless. I keep forgetting they're there, to be frank. I just play like a Mega Man game. It is fun to use them, though. It doesn't break the game or anything. Chat's pretty comfy. Yeah, Mega Man. I, uh... I don't know what to attribute that to. But somehow, I guess, I, you know what? I'm going to put it on my mods. Thank you, mods. But yeah, people people here just kind of hang out and talk. It's nice. Occasionally things get a little, you know, a little testy about subjects that you'd expect things to get testy. That's weird that that gun doesn't... Oh, maybe he doesn't hurt when he's spinning. Yeah, if I ever make a mistake of glancing off politics or anything like that. People can get a little, a little back and forth in chat, but it's, it's usually pretty civil. How many lives do I have? I'll just, I'll just feed it. I don't care. Do you ever see the grant applications from CD Projekt Red? And when in details the project do will end on June 29, 2019. I did see those. Um, they filed those a long time ago, and they filed them often. Because as I, my understanding is that the government of Poland actually has some pretty generous art grants that CD Projekt is totally val like, totally justified in applying for and receiving. Um. I don't know anything about that process, so I'd hesitate to say that just because it says it there in a grant means that that's when the game will release. I don't know that the two are necessarily the same. Like, as the government sees it, releasing the product may not conclude the project, that kind of thing. And it may be something that they just apply for every year and it's a formality to put a date in there, that kind of thing. I don't know. I'd have to talk to a Polish grant attorney. And uh, there's not one in my Rolodex just yet. It would be fun to do stuff like that, though. To really, like, track down leads like that and do all the research. That's bizarrely fun for me. Mm. Let's go. Thank you for the resub. Uh, just talking to people and learning learning things is fun. Makes you an asshole at parties, though. It makes, like, anytime anyone says anything, you're like, actually, did you know? And people, boy, that's annoying. So it's like... You learn stuff, but nobody really cares to hear about it most of the time. But with video games, they sure do, so it's great. It implies video games are art. 
Yeah, we can't have that. You know what's art? Venom the movie. I will still actually... I feel like... I don't know. It's obviously a non-debate, but I feel like uh, Roger Ebert gets a kind of unfair amount of shit for some of the things he said, because he, he amended his stance later and qualified it. To the, to the extent there was like, okay, you're still wrong, but I kind of get where you're coming from now. Yeah, Mega Man is art, though. Look at this. Shit. I don't see any of this at the Louvre. And that's why gamers are prejudiced against. Pre preju prejudified. What are we doing here? What is this? I don't trust this. Shit! Wow, okay. Hold on. Fuck. Fuck! Little can man was... Just destroyed all of my... Shit, man! There's two can man! like a bird. <laughs> Get it, to king. Alright. Fuck! Oi! I feel like I'm doing this the hard way. How's Mega Man is it worth the buy? I mean, it's a really... Woo! Oh, that doesn't kill you. Okay, well that's something. Um... Telling people yes or no if... It, if it, ah, shit. If a game is worth money is such a loaded prospect. Fuck! Like I don't I don't know how much disposable income you have. That's kind of where I go. It's it's a fun ass game. It's a we super well made Mega Man game. Looks good. Sounds good. Plays good. Shit. It doesn't have like. Ah. Uh, oh god, I'm eating it real hard. These cans are fucking with me. It doesn't have open world leveling progression mechanics. It doesn't have a crafting system. It doesn't have. It doesn't have anything it doesn't need. Um, it's got like a challenge mode. It looked it looked fairly insubstantial from what I saw. Urgh! Boy, I'm blowing three tanks. Thank you, thank you, Slendy. Yeah, I got two left. I gotta save those for the boss. So we're in real gamer hours now. Yep, no battle royale mode. I used up all my goddamn rush tank or rush coil. Shit. So there are people who would not uh, not consider this worth any amount of money because it doesn't have those things. It's not a it's not a capital B big video game. It doesn't have Troy Baker, Nolan North. Laura Bailey. Um, but it's a good-ass Mega Man game. And I'm glad that it got made, and I'm really enjoying playing it. I'm staying as a Mega Man fan, so pick that for what you will. Long and winding answer. Got a little got a little distracted by all the blocks and cans. You have to... Uh, Man, that's a rough screen. Whoop. Didn't need that. Most anticipated game of next year. I don't know. Hasn't been announced yet? Maybe Elder Scrolls, but I'm kind of over Bethesda open world RPGs. I feel like it'll be an even easier, consequence free. Wander around and look at look at like auto-generated quests kind of experience. That seems to be where they're going. They are fine-tuning the game anyone can play. Remake or RE2 remake? Yeah. Capcom's having a redemption arc. I thought they've always done well. Maybe well's the wrong word. I thought they've always They've always been out there scrapping it. Um like, they made Dragon's Dogma when they really sh should never have made a game like that, or been able to make a game like that. I think that buys them a lot of credit. Um, 
Even if Re Resident Evil 6 isn't your flavor, it's still an am- oh God. Oh My fucking god. It's still an amazing ass game. Resident Evil 6 is incredible. Just from a production standpoint. So. It was like Metal Gear F Solid 4 level stupid. Yeah. Just like you threw as much money at this as you possibly could. And then you forgot about the game part of it. That's not true, actually. I think I think RE6 actually has a pretty good game behind it, too. It's just like, it's almost like three different games in one. Which is also, also adds to it being stupid and ludicrously big and expensive. Wouldn't Starfield be first? I thought at E3 they, they implied that Starfield was even less further along than Elder Scrolls VI. Did I, did I misunderstand that? Never mind, I'm dead. God, jump! Jump, my man. Other way around? Oh, Starfield is further than Elder Scrolls? So they said Starfall is going to be the next? <sighs> I don't know, man. Maybe if it's like... It's like No Man's Sky with more... Uh, more of an, a craft or an individual touch to the content? How do you, do you, can you jump up there? No? What do you want from me? Do I have to jump on one of the blocks as they're falling? Oh, okay. That was much easier than I thought. Shit! I have fallen into that single pit, what, five times now? Jesus Christ. Doom 2, yes. But, I said next year, right? Oh wait, Doom 2 is 2019? And Doom Eternal? I don't remember when that's coming out. Yeah, Doom Eternal, for real. God damn it. Um... Catherine Full Body will be fun. Red Dead, obviously. Capcom is struggling with fighting games. I thought Street Fighter V looked like it was an interesting service. It eventually became a uh, a good platform, it feels like. But I haven't put a whole lot of time into it, just pretty glancing. I don't know though. I feel like there's like there's always going to be a hard cap on oh my god on the kind of game or the kind of money fighting games will make. So there's always going to be a sort of cap on the amount of people you, you can put on those projects. And a cap on how big and multi-dimensional and fuck god the hitboxes on those are so much wider than they seem. Hey, all right, you don't do that. Okay. This screen is so bad. I don't know how I'm having so much problem or so much trouble with this. Most of the platforming has been fairly simple so far, but this is this is interesting. Okay. God damn. Oh. There. Wah. Yeah, I don't know how you would... It's something I've actually thought about a lot. How do you make a big version of something like Mega Man? Um, X was really smart in, like, making changing the stages important. And, like, chronology is important. Exploration is important. ZX kind of did the open world thing with, I think, limited success. So it feels like, I guess, Mega Man Legends, something like that. But I, n I actually never played Legends. So I don't even know if you could consider them in, in similar veins. It seems like 3D you have to do stuff like Metroid Prime. A lot of lock-on. You were definitely overthinking that room. Yeah, I was trying to get fancy. Was trying to style on it. Hmm. Carlos, thank you for tuning in. Um, God, one life, two cans. I really blew through a lot of supplies, huh? Well...
Is zero is zero life or not? Two cans should be enough. Kill kill this guy. Let's see here. Ball actually was weak. Or electric was weak to ball, so we'll try the rest of them. What are you doing here? It was a it was that prime Mega Man game that was cancelled? Yeah! I wonder what happened with that. Yeah, he is weak to this. Okay, you know what? I'll just go for it. Oh, okay. Well, shit. Fuck. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's happening? Oh, come on! Oh, boy. This I was not prepared for. Oh, boy. Okay, well, we can do this. I'll try it. Fuck it, why not? Yeah, I, I didn't do anything. What the? How do you... What? Do you just have to jump? What the fuck? I'm gonna die. Okay, uh... Okay, so... He slaps you, jump. He punches you, move forward. Christ, alright. I had to give one celebrity bit of venom, send up as short as possibly, very specifically Owen Wilson going, wow. Okay. Cool. Well, now I just have to beat this guy straight up. Ah, man. Okay. You slide under his legs. No, it looks like I hurt him when I when I move forward into him. He just he just is a hitbox. Ah! Damn it! Oh god, I was already jumping. Oh, oh, that's the way it goes. Here, I'll just buy a million lives and I'll be good. Okay. Yeah, I, I will buy exactly one million lives. Are you sure? Ta-da! Are you sure? Ta-da! Are you sure? Ta-da! Are you sure? Ta-da! Oh, shit. Ta-da! Already! Are you sure? Forrest Gump, yes. It takes me a second every time. All right. Thank you for being subbed. Ta -da. Are you sure? For 24 months. That's two years. Ta -da. Are you sure? Ta -da. I'm gonna play a song for you. I bought max E tanks and max lives, and I still have 300. 300 shits. Uh, Alright. Thank you for subbing for four whole years. It's a lot of money to give me. For no reason at all. Similarly, for no reason at all, I'm going to play a song for you. Scode, that's a really good point. Surprisingly, when at Capcom looked at the shop and saw dollar signs. Somebody may have, and somebody else said, we shouldn't do that. Not a good idea. Not gonna make anyone happy. I'm glad they listened. Dodgers just beat the Braves in game one. Oh! Jess is going to be very happy about this. Alright, I'm gonna play... Play something, something relaxing. I'm gonna listen to this at the end of the day. This is like ultimate. Oh my god. This is like uh, mall in the 80s music. Sorry, 90s. 
That was almost embarrassing. So, uh, Forrest Gump, thanks for subbing for two whole years. Please enjoy uh, shopping at the Gap. You enjoyed your experience with, at Winners. I understood that reference. I said it'd be Captain Canada saying that. All right, black man. Think you're some shit? Think you're some kind of guy? Think you're a special black guy? Can't be shot with bullets and die? I don't know why you deny the power of blue, the sky. This is the blue bomber. See you, Austin. Thanks for dropping in. That's so there's lots of different Mega Man's, right? I thought Winnipeg was the blue bombers. Yeah. That uh, that slogan applies to a lot of a lot of things that had, aren't connected at all, bizarrely. I don't know what that's all about. There's a background noise. Yeah, um, that is Stephanie's cooking, so. There might be kitchen sounds breaking in here and there. Yeah, I remember here. I remember I was a kid and I heard Blue Bombers and I was like, "Oh my God, they're talking about Mega Man!" And no, it was actually like real life stuff that wasn't at all nerdy or embarrassing. I was like, "Oh, my time to shine foiled again. You'll get him someday, Lawrence." I'm gonna buy Larry back on. Imagine, imagine me, doofy asshole little me, but called Larry. I know it makes sense, and that's what's bad about it. To kick things into head gear. God. You should say that. Time to mega up. Whoops. Jesus. I don't think charging is better than just shooting the shit out of them. I know I thought this last stream too, but it just, se it just seems like hyper blasting the shit out of enemies kills them a lot faster than charging. So you're playing Mighty Number no. Nine, not seriously. I try, I tried it a little bit, and I was like, I kind of get this. I kind of get it. Like this, this is a game that has a really high skill ceiling, and it's like a four points combo based agility platformer. I thought, sadly, I thought with Mighty Number no. Nine, I thought a lot of the mechanics were way ahead of everything else. Like the game design was better than the level design. <clears throat> was better than the art. Uh, so. Sadly, like, I think the nuts and bolts of Mighty Number no. 9 were, were really solid and profound. It was a well-designed game. But the, everything else just wasn't quite there. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't sublime. Also, it feels like they were making a Mega Man game for Mega Man Professionals. Which is already a weird market to target. It was, it was like for the, uh, what is it, My, the Gunvolt crowd? 
It's like, okay, well, there's not a lot of them. I mean, it's a cool game. Like, that's another game where it's like, okay, this seems to be way more about mechanics and high-level play than it is about just having a, having a cute, cute first experience, which is what Mega Man tends to be. Can you imagine Mega Man? Like, I'm of the opinion that uh, music made the Me Mega Man series. But then again, I'm of the opinion of that with a lot of, like, 8 and 16-bit games. Sonic. Oh, I'm sorry, Jean. Oh, no. Oh, that's horrible. Man. That's... That is sad news, when somebody passes on a... On a birthday. Kind of taints it forever. So, uh... Sorry, Forrest Gump, you're asking for the name of the song. That's by an artist called Kone, K-O-A-N, and the song is Aya's Tears, because of course it is. The song sounds like that. Of course it's called Aya's Tears, so it's A-I-A-S, or A-I-A apostrophe S. T-E-A-R-S, Aya's Tears. Kendall says, music makes everything better. A lot of things in this world that would be absolute shit without music. 100% true. I don't ever, I've never watched Star Wars without... <gasps> That little piece of shit. Never seen Star Wars without music, and I never want to. Be Gunvolt, I don't ever think I knew what I was doing at any point. Yeah, John. See, yeah, good. I'm glad. I'm glad I'm not the only one who had that impression. It it was a game where you like, and to an extent, the ZX games felt like this too, and the Mega Man X games even started to be like that to an extent of like, we're gonna pack this thing so full of weird mechanics that there's no way you're gonna grasp it on your first playthrough because we want you to play it multiple times, that's the point. And that's kind of what I hadn't really got around to saying, but always thought of when it also came to, like I was saying before, the, what's the future, what's the expansion, what's the evolution of of jump and shoots? That is that is a path they can go. Like Mighty Number no. 9, um, Gunvolt. And then the ZX games were a softer version of that. Shantae, it has the open world stuff, kind of. as hubs and unlockables and stuff. Ugh. <sighs> Command mission? Surprisingly decent RPG. You know what? I've heard that, and I've never played it. That was one on PS2, right? Turn-based one? Yeah, Otter, the pits are, pits are nailing me. I guess I should... There's the beat upgrade that will actually uh, pull you out of a pit. I have the, the bolts for it. I don't know, I just feel like it's not really Mega Man. If you... Holy shit! That was weird. I felt like I wasn't holding forward... I wasn't holding forward when I jumped. So I assumed that I would land right where I took off. And if I took off of something, I had to be able to land there. None of that thinking paid was even a little bit right. Pits are the real boss of this stage. Yeah. Really obscure title. Rented, rented it by accident. Same time it came out as X8, but didn't regret it. Yeah. X8 was the one that kind of got back to being good, right? Because 7 was just... that was 7 was the first 3D run, right? And it was real bad. I remember 8 being alright. Being like, okay, okay, maybe there's something here. That was about the time all the, like, the rash of 3D PS2 Castlevanias were coming out, and I was like, man, these continually just aren't quite there. And then the last one, I was like, all right, this is all right. I'm digging this. And then it stopped. And then Konami fell into the long dark. All right, here we go. Time to play some video games. Oh wait, this isn't this isn't the hard one, yeah. Movies coming out that I'm looking forward to. Hmm. Not really. I don't follow movies that closely to be honest. Um It's more like I like I know like directors and writers that I like, and when they have something coming out, I'll be like, oh cool, I'll go watch that. But even then. I should go. I should go see more movies. There's no reason not to. Motherfuck! I thought the wheelie guy was gonna come back. Seen Mandy? No, I have not. Heard about it? Read a review of it. Sometimes I feel like reading a review is good enough. I know that sounds terrible, but 
sometimes they'll just like the basic description of a movie is like okay I feel like I get it That's not true at all, though. I know Mandy is, according to what I've heard, supposed to be pretty laden with style and brooding pacing, so that's certainly an exper experiential thing. That is not the same as just having somebody tell you what it's like. Yeah. Yeah, Ninja. Mandy's an experience. Exactly. No, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna watch it. I've always liked Nick Cage as an actor. Always really like him. Even the stuff he's not good in, at least he like... He's never not tried. I'll give him that. That dude tries hard. Everything he tries hard. Maybe some people say he like overdoes it, but man. I appreciate the effort on display. Yeah. Also, yeah. Adaptation is... An incredible film. Thoroughly incredible. That's one of those movies I'm like, okay, yeah, because I saw Adaptation 2 and I was like, you know what, Nick Cage, alright. I'm not going to give you shit ever again. No matter what you do, man, you d you did it. You put it out there, you, you like, did it. So, good for you. Good for you, Nick Cage. Also, he has a fucking... Ugh. Fuck. <laughs> How did I not jump? Bleah. You think he makes kick ass? How did I fall all the way down? Yeah, fucking face off? I think Nicolas Cage is the most John Woo actor I can think of, and that and that was perfect. They're both so extra in exactly the same ways. I fucking love it. Also, didn't John Woo announce another American film? I also, John Woo is another director I really like. And like, not just because of his, his like cheesy as shit 90s output, which is still great. But like, as as just also being a fan of action film and like A Better Tomorrow and, and like, he made, I wouldn't say Godfather-esque, but he made some damn good like Chinese crime drama movies. So, speaking, but yeah, then he went he went hard in the paint for China and did Red Cliff, and I was like, "Waha!" This is well made, but I feel like there's just a base layer of uh, like playing Dynasty Warriors is not all the homework, the cultural homework I need to enjoy this movie. <laughs> Helps though. I haven't heard of a new Wu film. What was that game he directed? Oh, Stranglehold. The hit fucking game Stranglehold. I love that game. It bugs me that more people don't... Didn't buy Stranglehold or Max Payne 3. That shit is just not right. Oh yeah, Rice Honor with Jet Li. That game is alright. Stranglehold is BA. What do you mean BA? That was made by Midway, guys. Um, people that are now in Netherrealm. I don't... Oh, badass. Thank you. Love Max Payne 3, but I never played Stranglehold. I mean, Stranglehold is not as profound as Max Payne 3. It's not Rockstar. Like... Oh, I just thought of the perfect analogy. So you got GTA, right? That's Rockstar. And you got, like, Sleeping Dogs or True Crime. That's not Rockstar. So... If you can imagine the not Rockstar version of Max Payne 3, that's exactly what Stranglehold is. But it's great, because both games are great, just in different ways. I also liked, uh, I actually kind of like the Wanted game too. I like, I like gun action games, they don't make a lot of them, really. That aren't first person, like I guess third person uh, gun action games is what I mean. This guy had like some some cutesy gimmick. Oh, what? He just runs into you. All right. Oh, it's bullet time or bending shit. I'm all about it. Yeah, 
Damn it. Now that's a kind of game that doesn't exist anymore. Third person, like, Quantum Break was like the last one, but... Third person, uh, narrative story driven action games? I guess Vampire just came out. Like, Remember Me. Uh, yeah, Watch Dogs. Uh, I just thought of that. Eh. Love True Crime back when, all of them. Actually, I actually never played through the series. I haven't played Sleeping Dogs. Witcher got a word? Not really, because those aren't gun based. But I guess they have powers and bows and arrows. Oh my gosh. That does so much damage! Oh! Fuck him up! On oh, this little. Fuck. Ugh. Jumped over that shit, clowned me hard. Oh! You're clowning me, bro. You're making me look like a clown. True Crime Spiritual Successor, yeah. I didn't know that, actually. Adam dropped that knowledge on me a while ago. Dang, that's cool. I wonder why they didn't call it True Crime. I guess there wasn't a whole lot of, like, clout in that title. Also... I don't know that you can really put out games with crime in the title anymore. Even though Grand Theft Auto is literally the name of a crime. But that's kind of in its own tier. Block proper. Alright. Okay. On another note, Witcher 3 is one of the funniest games I've ever played. Really? I I didn't get any of the humor. Something wrong? There's some like good dialogue that was like witty, but I wouldn't call it system. humor. It was so very I, long ago. I need to play that game. It was on that day. Wiley and I. Oh, look at that little auto back there. Oh, look at him. A wrench in our gears. Oh, you're so cute. We were students then, each pursuing robotics research in our own way. Each of us was passionate about forging the way ahead. To a future where humans and robots might live together in harmony. By giving robots independent thought, they could be true partners to humankind at last. Naive as always. Even robots that think for themselves will never be anything more than tools. A scene where they get drunk and decide to prank call the sorcerers. Speed. I have not seen that scene. It's only when we build robots with the power to. But that's delightful. Humans, that people will truly accept robots for what they are. That's nice to hear because I'm kind of hoping that there's humor baked into cyberpunk. Make that dream a reality. That they can kind of play off the absurdity of the setting, like in Robocop, the way Robocop used to, or Robocop did. However. I was strongly opposed. GTA does it too. I'm a big fan of like satirical present day or near future stuff. The double gears. Uh, idiocracy kind of stuff. Incredible strain on the robots that use it. And if it fell into the wrong hands, it could be used to cause terrible harm. It's weird that this wasn't a problem with just now. Was convened, and Wiley's research was cancelled in favor of my independent thought research. Wiley never forgave me, and his views have grown ever more extreme. Since. Pretty down on Cyberpunk after watching the initial gameplay. How ironic! Like you're not into it anymore? My efforts to quench. I'm curious why. Headedness before it led him. It's uh, only because there are things that I could see somebody being like, you know what? That's just not for me. Doctor, I never knew. If only I'd shown. I also totally get the uh, instead of being skeptical him. response. Maybe we'd still be friends. A way to work together. They already did this game. There was a game where Dr. Wily was good. Double gear system. But then he wasn't good. Good, if used properly. But using it properly requires proper judgment. Wily's dream. I am, but I guess the ideas I had in my head didn't match up, and that's totally on you. Into a hero. 
I can see that. Could become reality. Or I can see that being a bummer you. when I'm trusting you, Mega Man. Even into the void, we're hoping for something, and I then you didn't see what you were hoping for. Very important. I've just finished giving Rush a good tune-up. Hey, Rush. He's all ready to head out with you. I always love the Rush submarine. Rush. Rush, help Mega Man and keep him safe. Be a good boy now. Do I get Jet? We've got this, Rush. Everybody's here. Okay, let's go. All my Robo pals. Sure, lay it on me. Lay it on me, Mega. They can say it, I can say it. Can you not go up and down? Oh, it says you specifically can go up and down. Oh, okay. Why does it say slide? Whatever. That's pretty cool. They have a dedicated button for coil and jet. That's very useful for, I imagine, for speedrunning. It's going to be amazing. It's probably not very ignorant to the fact that it's not going to be Witcher by any means. I need to look at them that way. Huh. What aspects of Witcher were you hoping for? <clears throat> Better version of this generation's Deus Ex. I'm okay with that. Yeah, there were some aspects of that, right? Like, you could do it this way or this way or this way. By these step points. That kind of thing. I guess Witcher doesn't really have that baked into it. At least what I played. You know, obviously I'm no expert. Alright, I got blocks. Blocks crush acid tanks. If you keep throwing blocks at it, all the blocks will fall into the acid. And... I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going with that, to be honest. Oh, this guy's got a little cute face on it. Does he drop on you? Oh, it's a little robo spider! Yeah. 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 Look at him bounce. Look at this stupid little robot bounce. Oh, did he spit acid at you? Oh! What does that mean? Does it make it... I guess it does damage to me now? Okay, maybe now it does damage. Look, it doesn't give a fuck about your dumb acid. Okay. So it's probably... Okay, it's fine until it's green. Got it. Shoots acid out of his head when he clenches his anus. That is exactly what's happening, yeah. That looks important. Ah, worth it. Oh, I forgot to buy stuff. Ah, oh, well. I can still have plenty of E-Tanks. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Got an early start tomorrow, so I'm gonna head out. Alright, Forrest. Let's do the resubs again. And, uh, hope you have a good, hope you have a good day. Yeah. Oh, okay. Huh. Shit. Ooh, that was close. I got trick. Oh. Yeah, we do, Mega. Oh, I got dicked. Hey, Baker. Oh, I just got to a checkpoint. Awesome. My server won't have a mana or energy system like Deus Ex, as far as you know. I'm the biggest gripe with the game, never want to use my augments because I can't later. Uh. Maybe. I'm not sure. I would guess that there might be some version of, of temporariness to it, temporality. What the? Oh, the little spiders. Little spiders hit me. So when you shoot it, all its little spider babies come out? Doesn't make sense though, right? Yeah, you would think like an implant like that would you could just use it all the time. No, you gotta keep buying batteries. Yeah, usually there's like an energy meter or something. 
I know what you mean though. And Deus Ex, I would only I would only use augments and stuff if I had like a lot of recharge items on hand. And then you're just like, well, why would I spend money on recharge items when I could just buy other abilities that don't have a resource cost? I always thought that was weird in games when they like they balance the damage between like physical attacks and magic attacks. Except then why would I ever use magic? It's just a thing that can run out versus something that does the same amount of damage and is free. some game design stuff that I always thought was weird. I don't think Deus Ex is necessarily that way. Deus Ex is different because there are like certain paths and actions you can only take by using them. So it's not like it's a one or two. It's like it's, it is not zero sum in that way. Hey, is this the boss room? No, no way. Okay. Oh, ha. Huh. Ah. Hmm. That's pretty good. Checkpoint. How many lives do I have? Enough. All right. Hello, MKL. It has been a while. How are you doing? Nice to see you again. Ice to see you. As a great philosopher once said. Yeah, Keen Hearts 2 is weird about that, right? Like, why would you ever cast spells? Because the way you die is by not having magic. So there's no reason to not just focus on attacking. I guess not items, but whatever. Mm. Although, as you recall, it was like... Magic. Uh, like, he healing just bottomed out your, your MP bar. But it didn't matter if you have, had a full bar or like a little sliver left to cast. Oh shit. Oh, whatever. So as I'm remembering now, like, isn't the mechanic of Kingdom Hearts 2 that like you can cast magic as long as you don't empty out your meter. And then as long as you have a little magic left, you can cast Cure. And then wait for the recharge just the same as if you'd casted another spell. I think that's, that's how that ended up working. Which I was like, okay, there's something to that. That encourages you to like... <sighs> Bro! Oh, okay. I'm surprised that did not kill me. Bastard. Hello, and thank you for the resub. Ah. Do you see what you did? Oh shit, I'm out of rush. What's up? Uh, uh. Wait, is that all an inflatable? Yes. Oh my. And it shakes a little. Oh god. So you, you found what you're gonna get from the lawn, I'm, I'm guessing? I I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. I can, yeah, that's pretty good. It's a shark on a jack-o'-lantern eating a person. It's a fucking Halloween shark. Let's talk about the things that look like me. Yeah. That are me. Right. It's a shark on a jack-o'-lantern eating a man. Yeah. Those legs poking out. The legs. Yeah. And it shakes. Do you just plug it in? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you feel like this is... Yeah, that feels right. <laughs> does it, I mean, does it, would you be ashamed if you came home and you saw this? No. No, oh, there's a video. Look at it. <laughs> that is easy to set up. Oh. No, fuck it. I... Why's well, I getting weird? Oh. I was like, the stream is trying to... I don't know where the... I don't know if people can see it. Probably not. No. Maybe. <laughs> Whoa, that actually moves a lot. I thought it was just going to be shaking from, like, air blowing through it. Alright. Yeah, that's pretty great. I, I feel like... Yeah. I feel like that's a thing. That is an important thing. Here, I'll show it. 
Except I don't know quite what the framing is. I gotta click around a little bit. That's right. Yeah, it's good. Imagine that shaking on your lawn. I guess it doesn't make sharky noises, but I don't even know what sharky noises would be. They don't exclaim much. Yeah. So yeah, that's cool. Halloween just so got a lot scarier. Really? Yeah, because he's I feel like we pulled my car up and we put it on the front lawn, or on the on the driveway, and then that way we could still have lawn spider. A driveway? You mean like behind your car? No, I pull my car up so then that way the it's like basically where my car would be parked. So it'd be on the light. So you'd have to move it every time you leave? No, I'm not gonna. No, no, no. I'm not gonna put it out like now. I'll probably put it out on Halloween. Oh, oh. You don't want to leave it out longer than that. I don't want anybody to steal him. Oh. Yeah, he I guess, would be my friend, and I don't want him to be stolen. I guess that would happen. He's so cute. You know that somebody would be like, "That's a pretty nice shark," and then he would be gone. That's true. And then I would be so fucking heartbroken. I'm getting getting raided right now. I guess. Getting dabbed on. Yeah. Yeah. No, we should. The shark should be protected and kept safe. This yes, is and then he comes out of Halloween like a good spooky shark. Good spooky shark. Mm-hmm. Scares the, the, the children that come to trick or treat, but not like really scary, I mean, because that's still really cute. Yeah. Look at how cute that is. That's very cute. Okay, sorry, I'm getting into that. It's all right. I'm yeah, very excited. Also, I'm putting dinner in the cooker. Oh, thank you. Gay skeletons? 2018's Halloween has arrived. Hello, people. Hello, hello, raid people. Welcome. Welcome to the spookiest Twitch stream ever in which shark eat eat the men. When hell is full, shark will eat men. Kenshin, I'm really enjoying Mega Man 11. Quite a bit. It is. It plays really well. It looks great. I've always liked Mega Man, so that helps. Oh, well, that'll us. Oh, thank you. No, dude, don't worry about it. If you're late, you're late. Whatever, man. This is not, uh... This is just me chilling, playing a video game. You don't gotta sweat. Sweat nothing. So I didn't actually recognize the person who's raiding me. Who is who is that, that person? I don't really need to know. But, I'm just curious. Gotta know who I'm gonna step on when I become a Twitch billionaire. Black Black, he's a gay skeleton. All right. Amen. Amen to that. Oh shit! That is really difficult. Hear about Gate Gate? Are they trying to shove women out of the gate industry? Things were better before they started marketing gates to women. Men should decide who gets to come in and out of a small enclosed space. I'm just tired of all these gate makers shoving their politics in my gates. Now we got all these pink and sparkly gates. Gates should be cool and wear thongs and bikinis. I don't know where I'm going with this to be honest. Oh, it knows me from Funhouse, so thank you. Perxio. Appreciate it. Thank you for, uh... Watching the stuff we do. Is this gateism? Yeah. It's about ethics and gate journalism. Turns out the maker of a gate slept with a gate reviewer to review a gate. So let's attack the gate maker, not the reviewer. Yeah. That'll prove that we're fair. Why gates, man? I don't know. Somebody in chat said it and I've just been running with it. See you later, Candles. Thanks for hanging out. When's the Funhouse Mario Party stream? Uh, it is tomorrow at 2, sort of, 2 o'clock. That's also when we're, pu we're pu publishing the uh, commentary for Theater Mode, the movie. So, it might... We might just start later, you know? Just to give people time with that. So it, oh shit, it does just shove you into the spikes! Oh dang! Okay, that's good to know. Crap. 
I thought I had space. I should have paid more attention. Gallifreyan, thank you for the prime sub. Uh, just got to the. Okay, okay. I'm just, I'm just being, just riffing, being a little asshole. Somebody asked me if I knew about Gate Gate, so I was lighting it up. Did you mean Shenmue the movie? What did I say? Because yes, that is what I meant. Sorry, I'm distracted. Darn it. Yeah, this no weapon drop thing also applies to Rush. Or no no item drop. So, shit. That's game design right there, man. Those asshole spiders jump just high enough to hit you when you're low enough on the platform. God damn. Arrgh. Fuck it. Kill them all. I don't give a shit anymore. Theater mode the movie. Ha! <laughs> ha! Sorry, yes. Shed me the movie. Is this a remaster? No, it is a new game. Although I totally forgive you for thinking that. Alright, I got it this time. Oh, I got it. It's gotten. Any Red Dead 2 online videos? I mean, most likely, but ugh, it's hard to say. Since I don't know, or I should say we don't know, what that game's even gonna look like. It may not, it just may not be good for content. It's hard for me to imagine that Rockstar would make something like that. Like, their games, their games are moment factories. Um, but pretty much all of them. So, I don't expect Red Dead will be any different in that regard. But I don't know, so I can't really promise that. Can't speak for things that are outside of my knowledge base. Man. This is pretty intense. Oh shit! Waiting for a dead on PC? It's yeah, I get it. It's more or less the wise choice. I don't know, I, I don't I don't mind it so much with like a one X and PS4 Pro. I feel like that's the disparity in in experience will be less. Oh my god. Then it was playing on uh like Xbox 360 or PS3. Christ. Oh, they said no PC. I'm pretty sure they did, but I didn't want to. I didn't read it firsthand, so I didn't want to talk out of turn about it. Are you sure? 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 Yo, Mega. Are you sure? 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 That's my favorite part of this game. If they don't release it, there's gonna be a lot of pissed off PC players. Yeah, so what? So what? What does that matter? How does that affect Rockstar at all? They're gonna make enough money. Also, I don't know. It do doesn't seem like they're really positioning Red Dead to be what GTA Online became. Or sorry, GTA 5, but Online is the reason. I, d I don't think GTA 5 would have come out on PC without the, the roadmap of GTA Online. And the need to have an install base there to, to get the ongoing revenue. I don't know that that applies to console or to Red Dead. Because GTA Online is still making a shitload of money. And there's no reason that Rockstar wouldn't... Or Rockstar would invent a service to compete with itself. Kind of like how Blizzard never released another World of Warcraft. Or World of Starcraft or something like that. When you have a cash cow, you don't fuck with it. You invest in it, and that's kind of what they're doing. So I don't know. I can see a world in which that game does not come out on PC because there's no reason for it to. Or rather, the the money they lose out on won't warrant publishing it and supporting it on PC to the extent that they they have done. Like, they put out Max Payne 3 on PC, and I think... That's made them sore. They learned their lesson because nobody bought it. Or not enough people bought it to justify the, like, quality of port they did. Which, by the way, Rockstar PC ports are fucking ace all the time. Which is does make Red Dead's... Oh, 
Oh, they he bounces and spits out his stupid little babies. God, there's so many. Fine. Oh wait, no, this isn't gonna do it. Damn! I wasn't paying attention. GT4? Was that a bad port? That worked great with me. There are PC only players who want Red Dead? I don't know, man. That's the math just doesn't equal out. Like it's they're not they're not running an endowment for the arts. They're not like a goodwill foundation for gamers. They just make a good product. And it only makes sense to make that product if the audience size justifies the cost. And I They make great games. And I get being a PC only player. But PC's not the friendliest platform to develop on, monetarily speaking. I don't think you can... Ow. Don't own a console and never will at this point? That seems a little close-minded. I mean, whatever, you can... Obviously you can you can do whatever you want with your money and your time. But, there's nothing wrong with consoles. It's just a different way to play. Uh, it's hard to it's hard to recommend it, especially if you if you are used to the PC experience. But honestly, like a, an Xbox One X and a Switch, those are pretty great systems. I mean, PS4 has like the the big expensive exclusives, but I feel like One X is the more PC of the two, given that like has a huge back catalog that you can pull from. So it's like a ton of older games that all run really well. That seemed to work pretty well. God damn, that's awesome. <laughs> Consoles and their exclusives have made me not upgrade my PC in years, saving that money. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, you can get games real cheap on PC, but I'm sure it doesn't ju it doesn't offset the cost in hardware. Yeah. People will unironically throw out piracy as a, a big cost saver, which I guess, math by the math, it is. But come on now. Gotta pay money for your video games so all those people can feed their families and sleep in beds. Damn. I'm just, I'm getting so much use out of my Switch. Mostly, like, it, it is a it is a traveler's delight. Uh, but also, lately I've been, uh... Sp just spending some stretches on an exercise bike with, like, the Switch propped up. So I can play my video games while I lose weight, maybe. Or at least offset my terrible eating habits. Uh, so it's kind of a win-win. Feels good to, like, life hack like that. I also got, uh tweeted about it because it was a big deal. Got one of those like extra fat ass double American super wide seats. It helped a lot. I, I think pretty fundamentally you can't sit like that for a long time and not feel something because even it, it made I usually go 45 minutes and it made it easier this time. Shit. But uh A lot more pleasant. I'm grinding my fucking ass off in Octopath Traveler. I feel like I finally got over a particular hump. So I was I was going around recruiting all the like starting all the stories, basically doing all the chapter ones. And by the end of that, like my lead my protagonist was at like level 17. No, 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 like level 15. And the chapter two started like level 22. I was like, Phew. what am I supposed to do? So I just went to an area that was a little bit o over my level and just ground ground that shit to the bone. But I think I'm finally through it. Some people on Twitter said to buy gear, and I did, but it just it wasn't enough. Huh. Bikes suck. I go elliptical all day over a bike. I mean, whatever, it's fine. 
Doesn't bother me. I, it's just for chump calorie burn. I don't expect anything from it, aside from to make my balls a little sore and uh, to lose maybe 300 calories out of my day. So... Gotta do something at this rate. I'm 34 and I haven't found a winning solution yet, so... Time to experiment. I'm feeling motivated to go to the gym lately. Any advice? Um, find a different time to do it? Mix up your schedule? I don't know. I, I also feel like I am frequently not in control of my own motivations. I, I am the sort that... Oh, is he weak to blocks? Oh, he is. Nope, not rushed yet. No. God damn it. Stop it. Oh shit. Ah. Ah. Okay. I was totally right. You don't look terrible though. Sorry, that was more toxic. No, 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 no. No, I, I, it was a, it was a compliment. I, I appreciate it. Uh, I don't think I look terrible either. Um, it's weird. I guess I get it. People are just trying to be kind. When I when I talk about like fitness efforts, I'm truly not soliciting uh, compliments. I just I want to get to where the math is right. It's a it's an it's a numbers thing now. Of like, I I honestly have like 20 pounds I could probably lose. I want to lose them. It's like it's vexing me now. It's like a, it's like a game boss I can't beat. So that's kind of that's where I'm at. I don't think I look terrible. I could always look better. Everyone could. So that. I kind of made my peace with that, but I could always get more shredded, and I will. Uh, I could always lose more weight, and I will. Ah, uh, Kishin, thank you. Now, well, he... Everyone wishes they could look like somebody else, most of the time. Acid barrier, interesting. Super corrosive barrier that melts enemies. Huh. Uh, oh, just trying to be aware of how you phrase things. I get that. That's well, always a good thing to think about. You like the powerlifting aspect of the gym? Do you like chasing heavier lifts? I do. It's um, it's fun for like the RPG aspect of it to uh, see your body react, uh, to feel it get stronger. Um, it's nice. It's um, it's an it's a it's a cool reward. That said, I I've never really like gone to the gym. Okay, are you sure? Uh, in a dedicated enough fashion and in a recurring enough fashion to really experience that. I think James and Adam have, and that's nice. I don't know if there's anything any other upgrades I want to buy. Impact Man? Well, let me see here. I just got Acid. I feel like Acid would burn construction equipment. Yeah, so I'll go with that. He's got little pokey hands. I guess he's like jackhammers. Ooh. Pretty funky beat. I feel like I feel like a lot of this the soundtrack is written really well but the orchestration is a little funky like not in a funk kind of way I feel like it um there's a lot of like kind of the high whiny 90s dance synth in there which is not bad just not expected I am I am thankful to death it's not chiptune Thankful to death for that. We, we could use a little variety. Damn. This is interesting. A vertical stage where you go down? Um, Amkalby. I appreciate it. Uh, but again, let me remind you. Everyone wishes they have had something they don't have. As sad as that is. It, it, it truly is... Truly is true. 
different hair color, different eyes, different ears. I guarantee you, there's somebody out there that wants something that you have, physically speaking. That doesn't make a change or go away, really, but... It is just one of those things that the more people I talk to and meet in my life, the more I'm like, yeah, wow, everyone, there really is something about everybody that they are just like, I would trade this in in a heartbeat. Damn it, wrong button. Whatever. Whatever, fuck you. Huh. That's cool. Why do they have little eyeballs? Better teeth. Huh? Take out a 100k loan to get your teeth fixed. Oh man, Titan, is it is it that intense? I'm sorry to hear that, man. What is this little guy doing down there? Look at him. Look at this little dude. Buzzing around with those little wheels. Why? They gave the Weldbot eyeballs. But they also gave him a safety visor so he doesn't burn his eyeballs. And a little, like, visor comes up when he welds. Couldn't they just make... Couldn't they just make him not have eyes? Or, like, I... Could they make the eyes out of the thing that is protecting the eyes? I appreciate the Mega Universe's dedication to cute aesthetics over anything remote, remotely functional or useful. Just incredible. Ugh. Pickaxe to the spine and the back of the neck. Ah! Gosh. I'm gonna fuck you up this time, buddy. There we go. Oh, I get to go talk to my little weld friend. Hey, buddy. Oh, he blew up. Dang. I was hoping something cute would happen. Was welded spots hurt? Yeah, I assume. Otherwise, that robot would be incredibly u uh, useless. Glad I had great insurance to work at the time, or I'd still be paying for the work I had to do. Yeah, that's... All the dental work I've ever had done had been through insurance, so... I, I couldn't even imagine paying for stuff like that out of pocket in America. I just finished doing Invisalign, because I saw my teeth moving around and was like, God damn it, well... Well, I can either do it now, when it's like gonna be not as not as intense, and I have time, and I have a little bit of money kicking around, uh, or I can wait until it's really bad, and it'll take longer and hurt more. It's just like, man, fuck it, all right, I'll do it. I'll go in and do it. But it was like I think it was like fifteen hundred bucks all told. Yeah. That's one of those things, though. One of those uh, nice moments when you're like, man, thank God. Thank God I am at the phase of my life when I can just do that. Ah, fuck. When it won't, like, be a serious financial problem to try and uh, afford something like that. What? How do I... What are you doing? Oh. God damn it. God damn it. I didn't even see how much damage that was causing. Ah. Gamepad to use? It's an Xbox. Xbox One controller. Fuck. Hooked up to a PC via a wireless adapter. Because, man, the Xbox controller is pretty great. Jadenko. Thank you for the Prime sub. The block dropper? Yeah, I, I like to beat stuff with a buster first. Before trying to, trying to use, like, weapons that might... Be really easy or trivialize the fight. I want to see all the attacks the thing can do. It's like I want to see all the animations and stuff. Experience the game, savor it, all that. Don't care, don't care. Damn it, really? He's a hardy little bitch. God damn. Go platform, you and me, we're best friends now. <laughs> hey, Tricera drops. 
That's a great username. Ozasaurus Rex. Okay. Thanks, Fisher. Wow. Oh, man. Jesus. See what I mean? Trivialize the fight. I'm pretty sure I saw most of the animations the first time, but god damn. This is on the hardest difficulty, too. It doesn't look like they scale up enemy health at all, which is interesting. Wait, hold on. No, wrong one. There. Haha, -ha, can't touch me. Oh! Oh, they touched me. Oh, I'm still being touched. Does it go down over time? Ow! What's up, Packers? I feel like I should have a weapon that hits them. Shit! See, I swear, there's got to be a way to, like, hold on, got to be a way to, like, blow up that crate. No? It's just, it's just a crate, huh? It's normal old crate. Alright, alright. Are they gonna have the little drilly guys come through this area? That'd be pretty that'd be pretty devious. Yes they are Not a whole lot I can do, really. Ah shit. It's timed it. Fuck! Ugh. This is really ugh. This is rough. Arr, I jumped into it! Man, whoa. Fuck. How do you... Man, that one goes exactly... Exactly the worst way. Okay. Yeah. See, so just still going, huh? This is such a suspicious crate! Got a little light on it. I guess there's one up there, but it's blue. Green means go. Suspicious. Hey, oh, this is this is clever. They could have they could have got more mileage out of that, huh? Maybe they'll have more in the Wily stages. All right, I got eight, eight lives, forty tanks, easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Spike. Are you serious? I like to spike. Holy shit, this guy is not fucking around. Okay, he does look like he is uh, weak to acid, which is bad because I used a lot of it. This dude rules. He's got multiple lines. Huh. Whoosh. God damn, he's fast. Oh, I'm out. Wow. He's 
already... Why are you fucking me up? What are you doing? What is this? Fuck, man! Every time he hits the ground, it stuns you. Fuck! Stop! God damn it! Alright, alright, alright. Shit! Fuck. Man, when you take chain hits, you stack up damage like crate. Ugh! God damn it. God. Ah. I'm gonna be safe. Oh, man. This guy is... This boss fight's... Wait, you can't hurt him? Oh. You don't know when that's gonna happen. What a crazy pattern. Jesus. <sighs> Slow time. Yeah, I keep I keep wanting to just beat all the bosses without leaning on the gears too hard, but uh, some of that stuff is designed for that for sure. Night Raven. Uh, I wouldn't call it a good job. I'd like use three tanks, but whatever. Well, that was a surprisingly raunchy boss fight. If I wasn't able to eat tank feed, that would have been a tough one. But now I got a little, got a little uh, personal massager arm. It's for back pain. That's cool. Well, I can do it in the air. Air dash. What about this? It's actually a really cute outfit too. Cool. Okay, guys. It's getting a little late. I think I'm going to call it there. But thank you for watching again. I am really enjoying just kind of b biting away at this game little chunks at a time. Uh, but yeah. If anyone who's in the raid is stuck around, thanks for watching. Hope you had a good time. Uh, but it is a school night. I got to go get drunk at work tomorrow. And do some other stuff. Uh, but I think I'm at a good level of preparation for most of it. It's going to be a long lunch break. I'm going to run around buying some shit, but... It's fine. Wouldn't trade it for anything. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Have a good night. Sex. In this chat, as in many other men's chats, things get much more graphic and disgusting. As soon shooter with award-winning 360 degree stomach wrenching action then we plunged you deeper into chaos with deadlier enemies that fed off your power now after years of waiting there is light at the end of the tunnel descent 3's fusion engine lets you move seamlessly from inside to outside Match wits with robots that sneak up behind you, hide behind walls, and work in teams. Descent 3 is optimized for modem internet play. Crush your enemies, set them on fire, and watch them suffer. Descent 3. I may not look so hot to you, but you should see yourselves through my eyes. Creepy. My name is Seaman. You don't know me, but you will. Some say my amphibious nature makes me seem odd. That's because I'm part fish. I must be cold, insensitive, and creepy. I beg to differ. You may not think I'm attractive, but your wife will. Grrr. See, 
I'm a part of this new generation too, because I'm a new breed of gamer. We're born mobile. We have the entire world in the palm of our hands. It's right there at our fingertips. So game on. Wait, wait, wait. So you're saying you're Tornado 92. Oh yeah, baby. I played you before, you're not bad. Not bad, dude. You want a rematch, you let me know. OMG, I'm surrounded by geeks. Thousands of them. You know what, us entrepreneurs in the real world, we're superheroes in our own ways, right? Boom. <laughs> my phone is my conference room. It's my guide. It helps me to move mountains. It's my vacation planner. Heads up. <laughs> and it's on my own personal playlist. But most importantly, we're partners. And together, we're coming up with the next billion dollar idea. Check this out. Imagine funny cat videos meets Gangnam Style. Boom. Right? <laughs> yeah, like I'm gonna give you my billion dollar idea. Come back next year, maybe you'll be able to check it out. Together, we're born mobile, and I'm commanding my world the new way. The geek way? <laughs> can you dig it? Dude, yes, I can dig it. <laughs> Dude, we're all over the place. Everywhere you look, billions of us and counting. Dude, like, oh man, it's like, it's like we're more empowered, we're more connected. Than any other generation in the history of man. Dude, it's like, it's like we've evolved. We're like modern nomads. Hey guys, chill. No, I can't chill, because these days, you gotta be mobile if you wanna be a top dog. Or a tough ass warrior. Or super popular. Or a CEO. Ladies and gentlemen, Qualcomm Chairman and CEO, Dr. Paul Jacobs. So, Paul, welcome back to the stage of CES. Thanks, Gary. It's awesome to be back here. So, uh... What do you think? Were you born mobile? Well, honestly, Paul, not exactly. Um, but my do baby Max is definitely part of the new generation of mobile natives. This is Vincent, whose friends thought he could pass as conventional. He put what little money he had into a suit and haircut. A cyberpunk in businessman's clothing, he approached the big companies for support. Basically, what we have here are the extremes of contemporary computing. Um, we have an Apple Macintosh. On the other hand, we have an AT&T pixel machine, which is a massive parallel processing supercomputer. <laughs> 